Hey guys, so I just kind of want to make a video and just talk a little bit about what's going on currently and stuff with the videos that I've uploaded. So I've, re ed I've uploaded a few little short clips recently. You know, there's one, you know, some things with Brian Denlinger and uh, just kind of having some fun there. And uh, most of these videos that I've uploaded, these little clips, are just me experimenting with the video editing and stuff. Um, some of the techniques that Denlinger has used, like, you know, that frame with, you know, the flames in the background. You've seen me use that, and you probably, you know, can put together that if you've watched his videos that you see that I've got that from him. Now, that's something that I wanted to learn how to do, so I was excited when I learned how to do that. And uh, I was watching his videos uh, about Steven Anderson, you know, and it's like Steven Anderson as a Nazi, you know, and he rises up and stuff like that so I wanted to kind of see if I could imitate that learn how to move things in the videos like that and um, so I pretty much got that figured out and um, and there's some things from like Brian Moonen's videos that I wanted to you know learn how to do like uh, to have something flash on the screen that would have like the the verse that I would read and I had I have that on that little test video and you know having like an intro to a video and so just experimenting with these things and I'm really pleased with the things that I've learned so far and um, I'm not just trying to copy other people but you know I'm learning from that and you know I want to come up with my own style eventually and I'm always going to be experimenting doing different things but I would like to have some videos that have like an intro and and then I have that thing that I said that I might use at the end of the videos where it would kind of show the website and you know I'd kind of like to have like a plan of salvation at the end of the videos or, or something you know at least that that Bible verse you know, except you be converted, you know, it's it's at least something uh, from, God, from God's Word to leave people with. And, you know, then there's the gospel on the website, so maybe just leave it like that, I don't know. But anyway, so I've just been experimenting with video editing, and when I made that test video, it was, I said, um, you know, resisting temptation, and I wanted to do a study on that, and I started to do a study on that, and then I got onto something else that, I, that I, I saw someone ask a question somewhere, and... I wanted to figure it out myself, so I started going on to something else, and then today, just recently, or yesterday, I went on to another subject, so it's hard for me to stick with one subject. I'm always bouncing back and forth, and I've got like 20 different things that I'm researching into, so um, I said that I would get a video out in a couple of days, but that's not going to happen. I mean, that, that time's already up now, so <laughs> I have no idea when I'll, when I'll get out a good quality video. I want to really soon, though. I really want to. I feel pressure to get this done. You know, this brother helped me you know, he got this camera for me, and I want to use it, but I want to do, like, good teachings when I use it. So, you know, I study day in and day out, but like I said, it's hard for me to stay on one subject, so... But I've learned a lot of things, I'm learning a lot of things, and, you know, just, I hope soon. I hope it'll be the next couple of days, or at least within the next week, that I can get something out, and then maybe I can get the hang of doing these things. And, you know, I always want to, I'm kind of a perfectionist, and I want to look into every little detail of everything and try to really fully understand things. I don't want to teach things that I don't fully understand. But I know that I'll always make mistakes, probably, you know, I might misinterpret stuff, I'll miss out things that I should have taught, or whatever. But, um, you know, and I'm thinking maybe there's some videos where I should just go over a verse, or a couple verses, or a passage and just talk a little bit about it, you know, not every video has to be an hour long, you know, filled with scripture, but I do want to do things like that, and, um, and also I'm working on my website, you know, adding up, you know, the pages on there, um, as I study, um, so, and I mean, I'm studying on Israel a lot too, that's kind of a video I thought about doing, and, um, so I'm going over the different covenants and stuff, and uh, you know I'm learning about the old the Old Testament sacrifices. You know what was the real role that they had and all this. So there's just so many different things that I that I'm trying to learn and that I want to teach, and just you know I'm just kind of going I guess as I feel like I'm being led and I want to get some good teachings out there, but it's just whenever it happens it'll happen I guess. But I want to thank you for your support and everything and. It might seem weird, these little video clips that I'm uploading, but I'm just kind of, I wanted to see them on YouTube myself and be able to watch them on the TV with Chromecast on another TV that I have here. Um, and just to share, you know, where I'm going, what, you know, the future of my videos will be like, what I, what, Lord willing, 
hopefully. And um, so anyway, um, and then today I was using a, a video editor that was a like trial version for 30 days, and I just found out today it was up. So uh, I ended up getting another version that's pretty similar. But um, I have to like read. I made these templates and stuff for you know for certain things that I'll have to redo. But it won't take long, and I'll have to get used to this. But it's pretty much the same. Um, but I also finally got E Sword that people have been telling me about. I haven't really even tried it much yet. Um, and I don't want to say this too. I'll just go to this website to accept you be converted my website that I'm working on here and I don't know how it looks on everybody's different you know devices and computers um, I'll have to find that out I hope the formats you know right but uh anyways I kinda like this how everything stays together but anyways um, I'm always up for suggestions too on the websites or the videos or anything that you would like me to to research. But anyways, with the Israel thing, I'm gonna hopefully I'll be adding stuff on there, and um, I've already got an Ab Abrahamic covenant thing there and a comparison between the church and Israel. And if you haven't seen this video, I really suggest this, and this is why I wanted to show this. But it's from Dave Hunt, and you can find it on YouTube. And the video is called Israel, Islam, and Armageddon. And it's like an hour long. That's pretty awesome, and it talks about you know Israel and and the, the future, the prophecies and stuff of it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I've only watched it once. I need to watch it again, but it's on the website or just look it up on YouTube. But um, I was gonna wait and do a better video on this, but I think I'll just go over these right now, really quick, and try out this e sword. But I want to go over these scriptures that talk about you know spiritual Israel or spiritual Jews because I uploaded a little video not long ago of a, a picture that a brother sent me talking about Moses in the Old Testament and um, how the two guys had to hold up his hands um, and they're fighting that battle I don't know all the details right now but anyways at the end of it it said something like we are spiritual Israel and somebody's like oh I know you teach replacement theology or whatever, but no, I don't. Um, I know when I said that, when I read that spiritual issue thing, I was like, uh, this kind of bad, maybe I shouldn't put that up, but I did anyways, but I took it down. But let's go over these verses that people will use. And I want to do a better teaching on this, but, uh, so this is pretty new to me. Romans 2, 28. And 29 okay Romans 2 28 and 29 so there we go what did I do okay well Romans 2 28 says for he is not a Jew which is a is which which is one outwardly neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So what this means is, for he is not a true Jew, or he is not a Jew of God, which is one outwardly only. Okay, so, so those who are, you know, descendants of Jacob... You know, they are Jews, but they are not true Jews. They are not Jews of God if they are only Jews in the flesh. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, okay? So the circumcision that is of the flesh is not the true circumcision. It is not the circumcision of God, okay? Um... But he is a Jew, a true Jew, a Jew of God, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart. Okay, so the circumcision of God is that, is that of the heart. This does not mean that someone who uh, has their heart circumcised is a Jew. Okay, it just means that um, the Jew 
that has their flesh circumcised or whoever you know is an ethnic Jew they are a true Jew if they are circumcised in the heart as well um, otherwise they are not a true Jew or a Jew of God okay the circumcision of God is that which is of the heart okay so Jews and Gentiles can have the circumcision of the heart but it doesn't make a, a Gentile who has been circumcised of the heart a spiritual Jew okay that's basically that and hopefully I'll like I said I'll do a better video go over these better but just to have some content with scripture in this video Romans 9 6 through 8 Romans 9 6 says not as though the Word of God hath taken none effect so that means not as though the Word of God has failed taken none effect would mean you know it has failed it's not as though it has it hasn't for they are not all Israel which are of Israel and I believe this means that they are not all the Israel of God which are of Jacob which are of the ethnic Jews okay so it's the same idea again it's comparing the spiritual with the fleshly and Romans 7 says neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children but in Isaac shall they seed be called so this means you know Abraham had Ishmael and Isaac okay God promised uh, he had a covenant with uh, Abraham um, you know that a great nation would come from his seed but that seed was Isaac not Ishmael okay um, so just like um, the promise you know isn't to all of Abraham's seed you know in the same way not all who are of Jacob are spiritual Jews they're not all saved okay Romans 9 8 that is they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of God but the children of the promise are counted for the seed okay um, okay I'm not going to comment on that right now <laughs> should have done a little more study and I have studied these verses quite a bit but let's just continue let's go to Philippians 3 verse 3 Philippians 3 verse 3 for we are the circumcision which worship God in spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh okay so those who are saved are circumcised of the heart they have the circumcision of God but that does not mean that saved Gentiles are spiritual Jews okay and let's go to Galatians 6 16 and I have to hurry up with this because I have a 15 minute limit on this channel 6 16 and as many as walk according to this rule peace be unto them mercy and upon the Israel of God and again the Israel of God are saved Jews okay it is not the church as a whole so within the church there are saved Jews the Israel of God there are saved Gentiles okay so I do not teach replacement theology I have made plenty of videos on the pre-trib rapture which I'll continue to do and as far as I know I mean most people who hold a pre-trib rapture you know make a distinguish between the church and Israel but anyways so I have a lot of things that I'm studying and I want and hopefully a video eventually you know they'll all come to conclusions at once and then it'll just be like video after video but anyways until then just pray for me and I'll pray for you and thank you God bless except ye be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven